Hi, this is Dr. Mahwani, and I'm here to talk a little bit more about epithelial on versus epithelial off cross-linking. Cross-linking has become more available in the United States to stop the progression of keratoconus. There still seems to be quite a bit of confusion in how it affects vision or doesn't. Cross-linking is the use of riboflavin and ultraviolet light. Riboflavin is a vitamin B compound. That riboflavin actually was used, this liquid riboflavin saturates the cornea, shine a UV light of a certain strength to get a certain amount of energy on the cornea that actually catalyzes a reaction that creates more structural bonds between keratocytes, really like creating extra girders to strengthen a building, if you will, like extra beams. And this is something that goes partially through the cornea. It does not strengthen the entire cornea. The surface epithelium, the clear skin layer, actually prevents the cornea from having cross-linking go as deeply into the stroma, the bed of the cornea. Um, epi on cross-linking does not go as deep as epi off cross-linking. Now this is important because a lot of doctors are doing epi on cross-linking for comfort and ease. The problem is there's going to be certain patients that keep progressing. And I've had patients show up here that had a peon cross-linking and found themselves actually still progressing. And it is also important to know that when you do epi off cross-linking, if you actually then do laser afterwards, like topographic guided ablation, you remove either with epi on or epi off cross-linking, you remove the actual tissue that's been cross-linked and you have to cross-link yet again. And so it is critical to know that the deepest cross-linking occurs with epi off. It's more uncomfortable, it takes more time to heal for sure, but it also is the highest chance that you will not progress, that your corneal ectasia or your cross, uh, sorry, your, your keratoconus will not progress further. So really, really important to know, it is in reality a fairly simple procedure to do, um, and it does not really affect the vision very much. It will stiffen the cornea and cause a little bit of flattening, and it will cause a little bit of reduction sometimes in the irregularity because it causes that stiffening and flattening. But it is not designed to make the vision better. That has to be done with an adjunctive procedure such as topographic guided ablation, marketing name Contura, which is a separate video. If you'd like to know more about this, I'm Dr. Matwani, and you can go to our website, www.drmatwani.com, and we are here in beautiful San Diego, California.